Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are still taking part in the 4th of July event. Actually, I'm just showing you through some of the historic fish and where they can be caught and just how they can be caught. Apparently, things have changed with the event. Now, some of these species have to be caught at specific lakes. It looks like it used to be, if you go into the, I have to go back to the completed here, if you look at these missions, it tells you that you can go to certain lakes like Rocky and Falcon for the Fish Tag Historics 3. But in the Fish Tag Historics 2, it used to be, when we played this, you could catch historic fish on Lone Star, Mudwater, and the Heron. Now, it didn't matter which one you went to, but like if Mudwater had white crappie and, say, spotted bass, you could catch them both there. Now, you can only catch spotted bass at Lone Star, you can only catch white crappie at Mudwater, and you can only catch Naharan black crappie, and you can't catch them anywhere else. So you have to go to all three lakes, no matter what, in order to complete this. They, um, For instance, when I was in Naharan River, they have white crappie, but they didn't have historic white crappie. That's basically what I discovered. That was never that way, because I remembered that when I completed this mission, I actually caught my white crappie at Lone Star Lake, and I caught the spotted bass there. Then I went to Nevaharan and caught the black crappie. So that definitely makes more steps for you guys. I'm not real thrilled about that, but I don't think there's going to be too much of an issue with this because you have to go to both lakes here anyway. I will tell you this much, though. The historic cutthroat and the golden historic Colorado golden trouts are both going to be found at Rocky Lake and the brown trout is going to be found at Falcon. Now whether they have the cutthroat at Falcon I can't tell you. I doubt it. So we're just going to see what happens. I'm going to go in there and see if I can still catch them like I used to. But we are actually at Rocky Lake to start off with and I'm going to see if I can get a cutthroat here. I did jump in to see if people were catching them, and yes, they were. They got them both here. So, let's see. It's bison spinners for the historic cutthroat. Now we need the revolutionary claw for the golden Colorado. So, cutthroat are usually caught over here. And we are in sort of a minor peak, so we should have no problem getting. This thing usually works pretty well. I went ahead and threw a tail on it too to possibly increase my chances. Kind of thought a red would stand out fairly well. Alright, we got something here. I don't think it's that big though, whatever it is. Probably a young one. Yep, young cutthroat. Alright, we got another one here. I'm not thinking that's one either. I think it's a golden Colorado golden, yeah. Regular one. Let's try a little further out. I know if we can't get them over on this side of things. We can always go to the other side. Alright, let's see what this one is. I think it is a golden, but I don't think it's the right kind of golden. Let me see here. Yeah. Still running into the same problem. No historic. 
they they are here let's try over on the other side here fantastic fishing we need to do this anyway got some fireworks but we didn't get anything from that so well there's the marker again let's try it from this end of things that's where I, the way I caught the the way I caught the last trophy. That's two white bass. Okay, something, <laughs> something's going on here. Let's see. Okay, let's let's forward time a little bit. I think that might prove things and in fact I think I might go ahead and switch back over here and get that cutthroat out of the way first I usually get them when I fish over to this side of things at least I get the cutthroat I think the gold one's gonna be a little bit tougher there's always one that's gonna be a kind of a pain in the butt to get That's probably him right there. Yep, I'm thinking that's it. Yeah, they're at least as tough as a trophy. They may even be as big as a unique, I don't remember. I'll have to compare their sizes. Boy, this guy's tough. Man. And there he is, the first of the historic historic cutthroat. And I think, well, the brown trout's going to be much bigger. But I'm not getting a good picture of that. Unfortunately, the medallion seems to be up against me, so you can't really see it. But we'll get a picture of that anyway. Oh, that's kind of a shot. <laughs> Got the cannon and the flag right there. I like that. Alright, now we'll switch back. So we they got that one out of the way, we just gotta figure out well, that's not it. Hit the wrong button. Well, I tell you what, we were catching them more often over here. So that's what I think I'm gonna do. I actually got one of them right here. Really? There we go. Not so sure that it's a... Really? <laughs> what 
in the egg. I was pretty sure we, well, I wasn't sure that it was a golden, Colorado golden, or whatever you call it. We got something big here. And it's just a cutthroat. There we go. Let's see what this guy is. Probably a historic cutthroat. No, I think it is a golden. Yep, I think it is. Let's see if it's our our fella here. Yep, there it is. That's the guy. Let me see here. Yeah, he's not as big, but definitely prettier. I think I'm going to go ahead and mark him because I think that would be a good place to try for the unique as well. Let me see here. Go ahead and mark that. Yeah, still in the same areas. Yeah, the slow retrieve did not work for him. It was a faster retrieve. And that has changed. But we have already caught everything we can catch here. That is both of them here at Rocky Lake. So let's go ahead and head on the Falcon. All right, guys, I have I had to go away for just a little bit to get a bigger rod. Apparently, the rod I had was not big enough to handle the size of lure. This is a one ounce lure, the 13 arrows deep, and that unfortunately is the one we have to use. So we have to be able to use that sucker. Now I'm trying to remember exactly where it is I need to be going to to get this particular species and I believe it's over here by the boat dock if I remember most most correctly here let's see here because that is where the brown trout used to be caught yeah I think that's right in fact I even think I have a marker for it not the trout phantom <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom in just a little bit more so that I can pick it up better. Okay, now it's the decorated cutthroat. Well, I'm pretty sure they're over here, though, honestly. There's a few places the brown trout can be found. And I don't think you necessarily have to have a boat to get them. Yeah, I think if I remember correctly, I used to get them right around in here. If I can get it to cast out that far. Let's see. If I can, I may have to get the boat, but... We're not exactly in a peak here, so we'll see just how well we do with this. Now, this goes down 13 feet, I believe. Which is why it's called, called the 13 Arrows Deep. We want the historic brown trout. So this guy is going to be a bit bigger than anything we've caught so far. Yeah, we may have to get a boat to get over there exactly where they are going to be found. Yeah, we're going to have to go get a boat. Have to get a boat. 
And I think I'm just going to go ahead and take a kayak. I think I called a canoe last time. <laughs> canoe and a kayak, though similar, they are different, though. Alright. Yeah, let's get over here. Yeah, this is better. Let's go ahead and throw anchor. Now, I don't know if you can see it over there. Let me go ahead and throw that back on there. I don't know if you can see it over there, but there are some logs right over there. That little area right there is where we need to toss it. They like to hang around logs, it seems like. There's a few other places around here that are good for brown trout too, but you really got to look for the cover. And I think that's our quarry right there. I think that's what we're after. Yeah, he's going to be a good fighter, too. Holy crap. Yes, he is. <laughs> he's going to fight me. But I wanted to make sure that I was using gear that, was, that you could access. I believe this is the Loki rod. Well, this guy is not going to give it up, is he? Okay, we gained a little bit of length on him there. Let's see. Uh, we've almost got him in here. I'm... That's definitely a brown trout. Oh man, he's a big one too. Come on. Yeah, we got him. No, he's just a trophy. He's just very big. <laughs> That's one hell of a fighter. 7.557. He hadn't... He isn't a unique, but he didn't, he fought like one. But yeah, right there, that's the spot. If we're going to get him, we're going to get him here. Like I said, I'm not sure just how big the historic ones come. Sometimes they make them... Why in the world did it do that? Okay, there we go. I must have hit the button and sped it up. The one nice thing about brown trout is it seems like they tend to bite more off the peak. I'll have to try that again. Yeah, I had I had cast it where I wanted it to go, but it had been sped up as far as the Retrieve goes. I was sure that was historic just by the way he fought. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that was probably one. Dang on it. Try that again. Might even try a slower retrieve to see. 
Yeah, because if I had been reeling in slower, he would have caught up with it. There we go. Yep, I think I just needed a slower retrieve. A lot of times the bur trout do like a slow retrieve. And I think this one is going to be a heck of a fighter. All right. Least as strong as the last one. We have to watch the, you know, their trout. Trout love to let the thing go slack. And then jump off due to low-lying tension. Love it. They love it. Really good about that. All right, let's see if this is our fella. Definitely a brown trout. As you can see, that is a primo brown sp trout spot. Good God, fish. You do not want to be caught, do you? He is. He was within 37 feet just a short minute ago. Okay, I got it. Well, I had his head up. If I can get his head up, I'll get him in. But Okay, come on. There he, we got him. We got him. All right, there we go. There you go. And it's a personal record. Personal record. So it's beaten all the others I've caught in the past. Uh, that's a big fella. I don't know if he'll, I'll be able to hold him in my lap. I hope so, because it looks better. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. I meant, I meant to hit the P. No, nope, I'm going to hold him up. I don't think you can see him as well when you do that. But I can't even see the medallion. Again, it's got it facing me, so you can't really see it. Uh, that's kind of frustrating. There we go. Historic brown trout. There you go. That's all three types that we need to get. And like I said, I'm not sure if you can get the cutthroat here or not. I doubt it, but let me go ahead and put this away. Lift anchor. I'm going to go find that kayak for you, or that canoe anyway. This time I'm finding a canoe, not a kayak. <laughs> and if I get near cutthroat territory, I think I might... Just give it a little bit of a try, just to see. Alright guys, I am back. I did find it. It is actually over here, off this little bridge. You can see it right over there. But you'll need to throw it right into there and get it snagged. Now for some reason I was thinking it was going to be actually out here, which kind of surprised me. But... Now that I think about it, I think I do remember it being being there, and you didn't need a boat for this one. I don't know that's true for all of them. I think some of them you do have to have a boat. But I do need to go ahead and shoot off the cannon here. Nothing. <laughs> and erase that. I did get at least a Hellfish Arsonist kit. But like I said earlier, I am going to go over here and try to see if I can't get a cutthroat. Now, I always caught cutthroat right over here. And that was, if I remember correctly, with the bison spinner. And we do have the bison spinner still. Like I said... Let me go ahead and put the red thing on there. We'll just see if they've got them. I don't know that they won't. Oh, 
right here. He's got the big boat. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I thought I grabbed the rod. Never mind, I got the wrong rod here. There it is. It's really deep right there. That's why I think they're hanging out over there. They like the rocks and there's a heavy current here. And there we go. Let's see here. Nope, we got a brown trout. <laughs> I could try over here. something here. Not nope, rainbow trout. Yeah, the slow presentation is really working well here. Where it didn't do as well at Rocky. I don't know, sometimes it's good to switch back and forth because it just depends on what they're in the mood for. There's an Oregon Red Band. <laughs> Got him at the last minute. Yeah, I don't think they have the historic cutthroat here. Um. Not seeing it on anybody that's caught them, but we have—I have seen the historic brown caught already. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep working at it and keep having fun with this, guys. This can be a lot of fun. I know it takes a lot of time, but don't worry. If you can't complete it, you can always complete it next year because they continue it on from year to year. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.